Hey y'all, happy Friday. So mortgage rates are ending the week slightly above where they started the week. It was a huge news week. We had the consumer price index and the Fed statement in consecutive uh, days this week. So let's talk about the consumer price index for a second. We need the consumer price index to, to come down more uh, than, than it is right now in order for rates to come down. Now, the good news is it was in line with expectations and year over year, we continue to drop. We're down into the 4% range instead of the 9% range that we were at last year, which was absolutely astronomical. The Fed then came out and said, hey, we are pausing on rate hikes this week, uh, but we see that we're gonna have at least 50 basis points and some called for over 100 basis, up to 100 basis points more in hikes. Now, if they raise rates another 50 basis points, it doesn't mean rates are going to go up a half percent. It just means that until the sentiment changes that they're done hiking or that they're going to start cutting we're, we're not going to see rates move down significantly. So, so the biggest thing driving all this right now is in the consumer price index. There's one component that is stubbornly high. Consumer price index uh, is made up of, of lots of different things, but about 30% of it is made up of housing and housing continues to stay elevated. There's not a lot of inventory. People are overbidding on houses. Like this isn't going to change for some time and, and that is going to cause rates not to have a huge catalyst to move down. Now, producer prices have moved down. Other areas in the economy are moving down. So as those contract, there, there will be some overall abiding in the consumer price index. And even as housing stays high, it will pull the rest of the numbers down, which in the future will give the Fed reason to pause. All of this still means, if you haven't bought your house yet, it's a great time to buy because when rates do drop, the, the frenzy is going to be on and prices are going to get even crazier than they are now. And if you have bought, uh, you're, you're still in a good position. You're not refinancing yet, but I will keep you posted of when that time comes. I'm Sean Zalmanoff, your loan officer. Hey, if you have any family or friends uh, that want to work, with a great company, great guy, and an awesome team. Please send them my way. Peace out.